Hi everybody, my name is Cameron with an X. Yeah, it's it's down there. See all the X's on screen? That's because I spelled my name with an X. It's great. It's gonna be awesome. What it do? What do it do, Astro? Today is a Wednesday, as you may have already guessed, because sometimes even I forget. Actually, yesterday I thought it was a Wednesday. On Monday, I thought it was a Monday. I don't exactly know where Tuesday went in my brain, but apparently it just went and gone like like the rest of the, you know, the rest of time itself, I guess. Time will always move forward. We can never go back. Although, apparently, apparently, there may be ways to travel in time. Dude, you thought it was Thursday and then had class. Class. Class? Class. CLAs? As in, like, command line applications? I don't know. It could be anything. We're getting a little technological today. I was perusing through my cocktail books as I normally do either on Wednesday or the day before or weeks ahead of time hoping to do something special with my life. And I was going through the black book as because there's a lot of things in here. It was a gift from my mother once upon a time and I, I appreciate her very much. She's inspired a love of combining things together and whatnot in my life. And I was looking through and I found some pretty interesting ones, but one of them particularly, 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 stood out to me today uh, because I was, it was literally, it was so on topic for what I was doing over the weekend. Over the weekend, I decided to try something that I had really never done before. I was doing a little bit more video editing than I had done before. I post like videos of the streams and stuff and I make like cuts in between and I put like transitions between them, but I never actually like really, really edited a video before. I mean, technically I have in the past, I, I had a job before the job that I have now. And a part of that was creating videos and doing voiceovers and stuff like that, which was fun. It was all fun and good, but it was never like, it was never like really, really crazy. It was wonderful. I had such a blast. It took me literally all day to do, but you know what? You got to learn somehow. And I, for one, would consider myself quite the novice. So the fact that it came out as, I, th I think it went, went pretty well. I will humbly say I'm proud of myself for that. And it's, it's very good. Is that a picture of a remote on the wall or an actual remote? Oh, so these are actually actual remotes. So actually, <laughs> here's a smart little life hack for you folks at home. Don't know where your remotes are? Easy, stick some Velcro on the back of them and stick them on your wall. See, I say that, but you may notice that there's another Velcro stick over there. <laughs> I don't know where the fire stick is. It's next to the microwave. It's apparently, the fire stick is apparently next to the microwave, according to Anna. I have literally no idea why. I don't think I was the one who was last watching television, so whatever. Yeah. Now I know where it is though. I love that. I also have a remote here. This one doesn't have Velcro on the back because I keep this near wherever the camera is so I can do shit like this. Ooh, ah, anyway, cheap 3D effects and whatnot. What are they going on about? Oh yeah, I did some stuff over the weekend. I did a little bit of video editing. I've really never done that before. I used DaVinci Resolve. I don't know, I guess everybody else out there is using like Photoshop or something. It's great. Anna's remembering skills are absolutely on point tonight. She knows. Actually, I, I couldn't find, I literally could not find where my cocktail book was beforehand. She's like, well, it was on top of a pot. And I was like, there's pots all over the counter. How does that help me? Lo and behold, I take a look at the crock pot. Cocktail book is sitting right up on there. Like, oh, what a joy. She did bump into my camera though. So there's, there, there's ups and then there's downs. But you know, when you even things out, it's neutral. She's doing her work right now. So she's, you know, she, she, did, she did her good Samaritan thing today. Actually, she's been doing like midterms and stuff all week like academics and stuff like that. The fact that she still has more school to do is insane. I thought five, five years was enough for me. Actually, five years of college was enough for me. And then like, what, the 12 years that came before that? America! In any case, speaking of education, I studied to be an engineer. Putting that aside for a little bit, the theme of tonight's cocktails is electronics, or rather things that run on electronics. The name of the cocktail that we will be concocting this evening is called Artificial Intelligence. As I mentioned, I was kind of like perusing through my book and whatnot, and I found one thing and I found another, and I saw Artificial Intelligence, and I was like, oh my god. I was literally doing AI stuff over the weekend, and this is what I mean by that. There's a game out there called AI Dungeon. A is an apple, I is an insidious or AI is in artificial intelligence. And the game AI Dungeon is like this, 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 like you talk with the AI and it generates like a story for you. And apparently the people who made AI Dungeon, I think they called themselves Latitude, decided what they wanted to do was to create an entire like platform where like creators can use AI, artificial intelligence based, based things to be able to create stuff like more games and whatnot. And as of writing today, I signed up for the waitlist for something called Voyage, which is run by Latitude.io. Maybe I'll throw a link to that somewhere because it is pretty cool. Where you can play games that are facilitated by an artificial intelligence 
somewhere in the back end of whatever they're doing there. Really, artificial intelligence is just a fancy word for, like, really fancy, fancy statistics. Like, fancy statistics makes machine learning, machine learning makes pattern recognition, and that on steroids is, like, what we just kind of call AI. And there's varying different, like, you know, mindsets and philosophies of, like, what AI is, what AI isn't, what AI do, what a AI don't. It's crazy. And it's got some major hours. She do. And it's like Cleverbot, but actually fun. I'm not exactly familiar with Cleverbot, but from what I understand Cleverbot to be, I think it was also like a, you know, it learns from, I think you can talk to the computer and it's cool, it's cool. But so AI Dungeon is one game. And so what I decided to play, that's that's all. That's one of their biggest games. There was like AI Dungeon 1 and they also have an AI Dungeon 2 out right now. And I think you can actually save your progress. It's really fun. I decided to play it a little bit over the weekend. And I basically like, it started me off in some alleyway and like there was a girl in front of me. So naturally I did the only natural thing when you're faced with a girl and I said, I turn the other direction and I run away. And the girl started chasing after me. So then I turned around and I screamed at her like, get away from me, I don't want nothing to do with you. And she was like, okay, fine, keep running then. So I kept running, trapped myself in a cage and somehow opened the cage on my own after the girl went away. That's as far as I got before I was like, I should do something else. So I did something else and they got three other games on there. One's called Medieval Problems, I think. Um, I don't, I, ha I haven't played that one yet. One's called Things, and Things is like, it's similar to a game out there that called Doodle God, where you combine elements together to make more elements. Except in this case, at least in the, in the, in the normal mode, you start out with nothing, and that's it. It's a single bubble that says nothing, and you can combine nothing with nothing to create energy, and energy with nothing to create something else, and so on and so forth. You can connect all these nodes together of somethings and nothings, until until a point where the AI has to like come up with what that combination would be. Sometimes it doesn't work, but oftentimes, and which I happen to do a lot of apparently when I first played through of this, was to discover things that nobody out there who played things before has ever discovered before. Probably because this game isn't like released or anything. If there was like a wait list for it to gain access to the platform that has hosts the games and stuff on them, it was awesome. I would recommend checking out things, medieval problems. AI Dungeon 2, because I don't think there is a one that's available to play right now. And then Pixel This. Pixel This is another one where it's kind of like, it's like Pictionary. Uh, the, you, gave, you gave the AI a prompt, or the AI determines a prompt, and it generates like a really, really low fidelity, like pixelated image of something. And it slowly but surely gets more and more like able to see, I guess. It's very, very pixelated. It's got that pixel art to it. And honestly, I think the first prompt that I got on there when I was playing with Anna was airship, like flying airship. It did not look like a flying airship. I don't know what the heck that thing was, but I was like, that looks like a whale in the sky. Which like, flying animal in the sky, sure, but not like an airship or anything like that. Then you can actually give the AI like prompts of your own. And so I was like, peaceful avocado. And I posted that image on my Twitter. And to be perfectly fair, it didn't really look, it kind of looked like an avocado. It had the same like color scheme of an avocado, but it also kind of looked like a fountain or, or like Buddha sitting on the statue be like, ah, oh, this is peaceful. So was it peaceful? Sure. Was it avocado? Also sure. Did the AI do good? AI good artist? AI is good artist. Sound good. Anyway, so the artificial intelligence of it all got me, got me wondering. This particular cocktail does not call for any garnishes. It does not. But I thought that that wouldn't do it justice. I'm trying to work on my garnish game. I'm trying to make these cocktails look very, very pretty over the weekend. I posted to the internet the first cocktail of my creation. I mean, I've made cocktails before, but this is the first time I like put it out there because I'm like, I'm actually like very self-conscious about the work that I do. And like, I feel like I get, I, I have this incredible like hump of anxiety to get to, to get over before I finally decide like, I'm gonna make that post or I'm gonna do that thing. Previously, it was easy. Professors in school would tell you what to do. That was your reason to do it. Now I'm like, oh, I have this idea. Do I put it out in the world? I don't know yet. I'm working on it. We're all working on it. Uh, but so I did that. I'm trying to make things better. Trying to make fancy little pictures and stuff. I have some nice cameras around here. Not this camera. Not the close-up camera. Close-up camera, hmm, not, not too good. But I have a background now for the pink. It's, it's kind of <laughs> whatever, whatever. But in any case, we're gonna try to do it good. Our garnish game will be on point this time. Now presenting the inaugural, the inaugural, 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 inaugural recipe for artificial intelligence. I'm gonna need a shaker. Bam, I have a shaker. Isn't that incredible? I'm gonna need something to close this shaker with. Aha, the other half of the shaker. You didn't expect that, did you? You did. 
I, I bet you probably did. The first thing I need in my glass is a half an ounce or 30 milliliters. I think I'm trying to memorize the conversions for folks over the pond. I want to say half an ounce is 30 milliliters. No, no, it's 14. Oh my goodness. It'll be, it'll be accurate later on. I can't, I was going to say I can't bother myself with it, but now it's really like, now it's bothering me. One half ounce, two, more. It's, it's. 15. It's 15. It's 15 to 30 to like 60 for all that stuff. Anyway, half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Oh, dark rum goes first. I got dark rum. It's not the high proof dark rum that I had last week or else that might be a little too alcoholic. Actually, to be perfectly honest, we'll get to it. Actually, I'm not going to, I'm not going to remember. Uh, part of my garnish tonight are actual pieces of electronics, which have been completely uh, sanitized beforehand. They were literally sitting in isopropyl alcohol for like an hour before I did this and they've been drying over here. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna put weird stuff into your cocktails, either make sure that it's food safe, don't, like Anna says, or like just, just try to sanitize it as best as you can. I'm gonna be drinking through a straw. So if anything collects on like the ice and stuff, hopefully it doesn't get all the way to the bottom. And if that's not the case, then like, hopefully it'll be okay. Wow. <laughs> My close-up camera just fell, so I guess we're not using that. Actually, how does that look right now? Ha! <laughs> look, guys! It's the floor! <laughs> I made a boo-boo. Oh, well, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. I need half an ounce of dark rum. I've got Myers, the original dark rum. Apparently, I didn't know there could be an original. Who knew? I had no idea. Half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Put it in my, sh my shaker. Put it in my shaker. Wait a minute. Hold on. Don't put it in my shaker just yet. I need ice in my shaker. <laughs> You silly, silly boy! You need to remember to put these in your shaker so you can shake a shake a shake a. You silly boy! Let's put a single big ol' ice cube in there. Plop. And then, I'm gonna try not to make a mess. Actually, I did make a mess before, and I didn't mean to. When I was... When I was finding a container to clean off all the electronics in, I put it in a container that apparently had a hole in it, and there was isopropyl alcohol literally all over the floor. Which is not something that I was hoping to have to deal with, but it dried up easily. I gotta, I gotta get better at this. Wow, an ice cube just flew right into my television. Actually, maybe that's why my television looks a little, like, dirty and stuff. Oh, that one hit my hand. Alright, I'm gonna go with it. I consider that crushed-ish. It's okay. I'm not perfect. Honestly, what I should have is, I should have a bar spoon that is a little denser, a little girthier on the end, so, like, I can get more power in that flack. That, or I just need to work on my technique. Technique! Technique! We'll eventually figure out my technique. Anyway, there's some ice on the table. I also completely forgot to put a table mat, like a placemat on here. Oops. Anyway. Oh, did I spill some of my rum? I spilled some of my rum. That's okay. Half an ounce, 15 mils. I can clean that up. I have paper towels. I prepared myself this time, or at least I tried to. Also, why is my mouse up here? There's no need for my mouse to be up here. I forget things so, so often. I'm not that good at all that stuff. Anyway, let's keep a move on. Shall we? Let's shall we keep a move on, indeed. I also need half an ounce of light rum. I'm gonna go with my the tried and true Bacardi. After I close this off, lest I let it fall to the floor. That's another type of alcohol that I don't want to be on the floor. Isopropyl or ethyl. I don't want it. Actually, I think, I think, is like the alcohol that we drink ethylene? E eth ethanol? I think it's ethanol. I, I don't know. I don't know. Somebody can correct me. Half an ounce or 15 mils of light rum. Bacardi, Bacardi. Actually, this is like Big Daddy Bacardi. There was a small Bacardi around here somewhere, and then another one of my friends brought a smaller, like a half size bottle of this. This is, they brought a fifth over. This is a, a full jug. I don't remember what you call these things. A full jug of Bacardi would be called a handle. A handle. They brought over a fifth. I had a handle. My handle was halfway down, so we poured the fifth inside of it and made Big Daddy, Big Daddy Bacardi the top one. In any case. All right, the next thing we need in the shaker is a half an ounce of yet another type of rum. It's coconut rum. I've got Malibu. I completely forgot that I had Malibu. I usually, one of Anna's roommates back in, uh, back in undergrad was like really, really into Malibu. And whenever like she and her roommates would come over to, you know, to Drexel for some of the fraternity parties and stuff, cause they would come, we'd have a good time and whatnot. The, 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 the beer and stuff that we usually provide free of charge to the guests, it's not really their cup of tea. So I would, you know, I had, I had my ingredients and whatnot and I would just make my own cocktails cause I think it tasted a whole hell of a lot better. And I wasn't very good back then. I had books and stuff, but you know, I think, you know, you get better, you get better with time. You get better with time. I don't think I'm super duper good right now either, but at least I'm making cocktails. And that's, you know, so long as we're continuing to do our hobbies, then that's what makes our hobbies our hobbies, right? It's good to have a hobby. 
I like having hobbies. I like the fact that I have a hobby that I look forward to do every week. And I like the fact that, you know, I'll spend time on it on the weekends or I'll spend time thinking about it at work and planning it. It's great. It's wonderful. I really, really do enjoy having this particular type of hobby. And it's fun. And I meet new people. And I learn new things. And that's what it's all about. In addition to the now one and a half now one and a half total ounces or 44 milliliters of rum different types of rums a little like neapolitan of rums if you will we got a couple of different types in there a trifecta of rums it's a good thing too because myers is my only dark rum my only light rum is bacardi and the only i actually i have a coconut a pineapple coconut rum up there called uh, calico jack it's not too bad but like i find it hard to find a particular place where like Pineapple coconut rum is a really good stand-in. I mean, technically, actually, this is Caribbean coconut. So it's, it's coconut. It's coconut rum. It's not coconut pineapple. I didn't realize that when I first bought that Calico Jack stuff, and I was like, it's so interesting. Why do my cocktails kind of taste like pineapple? And I read the label, and I was like, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. They both are good, though. Yes. Yes, indeed, they are. I love, dude, I, I forgot because I forgot I had the Malibu, I forgot that Malibu was an option to put into cocktails and whatnot. I just, I like, maybe it seems like a problem. I don't know if this seems like weird or not, but like, I love the smell of Malibu. It like, it's got that coconutiness to it, obviously. It's like a, like a sickly sweet coconut. And it really reminds me of like vacation with my family. I don't know what it is, but smelling this reminds me of vacations with family down in South Carolina on the beaches of Hilton Head Island. Oof. Summer's coming, baby. Summer's coming. The next ingredient that I need in my cocktail shaker is a dash of lime juice. So I am going to do the only sane thing and eviscerate a lime on camera. There we go. There's the cutting board. Technically, I could just use my table, but I don't really want to because it's a rather nice table. And I really don't need a lot of lime juice. I just need a dash of lime juice. So, of course, when it calls for a dash of something that I'm squeezing, I'm going to cut it in half. Hey, consumption! I'll consume some of the lime because we're only using a dash and it's hard to dash something that you're squeezing so i just kind of give it a pump if you can't make a dash of the lime juice and you want a dash like a oh i can't speak a dash of fresh lime juice just pump so i'm gonna give myself a a, a full pump of lime juice in my mouth because consumption oh my god that's oh, oh wow that's a potent lime that's a very potent lime my goodness Come to think of it, I probably should have used my juicer. So, um, is it working? Is my juicer working? Yeah, yeah it is. Now, let's put this stuff off to the side. Because I don't need to eviscerate any more limes. We're going to add a dash, or a pump, of lime juice. Pump it! Pump it real good! Time to consume again. More pumps! That was a hefty pump. You know, they say, you know, lime juice is good for you. It prevents scurvy or something. And apparently, like, I read what, this, what the, um, the side effects of scurvy were the other week. I don't remember what they were. But they sound terrible. I think you, like, you, like, like, you boil. Like, you get boils on your body, but, like, from the inside out, it's, like, it's disgusting. You form, like, pustules. Or maybe I'm getting that mixed up with, like, the Black Death or something. I'm not exactly sure. Lime and lemon juice, good for dieting for dieting you know actually i tasted the other day i went to whole foods because i was not feeling so hot so i went out for a walk and decided to buy something from the store to make myself feel better everybody knows spending money equals happiness obviously but they were selling kumquats at the store and like to be perfectly honest i forgot that kumquats were even a fruit until like like last week's stream on monday where we were doing but was it last week i don't know we were taking like Buzzfeed quizzes or something and kumquats are considered a sexy fruit because they literally have cum in the name Apparently only spell apparently Australia spells kumquat kumquat with the C and then everywhere else spells it with a K according to the internet consumption Here comes another pump of lime juice. It's good for your body Honestly, that's a good thing too because that lime probably would have gone a little sour very difficult though. It's difficult to get scurvy these days. Apparently, yeah, we have so much like fruit and stuff and literally everything. But anyway, so they were selling kumquats at the local Whole Foods and I was like, I gotta try these. I didn't know how to eat a kumquat. To, to, for, for context, a kumquat looks like a tiny little orange in the shape of an egg instead of like a circle or a sphere. 
And so naturally, when I saw something that was orange-like, I was like, do I have to peel this tiny little thing? It's like this big, like a tiny little thing. Actually, hold up a second, hold on. Literally takes months to start seeing symptoms. For scurvy? That's terrible. I should go get my kumquats. Hold on, I'm gonna show off my kumquats. This isn't weird, I swear, I swear. This is not This is not me being weird. I actually have kumquats and they're spelled with a K. Earth Farms Planet Kumquats. Kumquats. Kumquatsies. Consumption. You know, I will consume. Consume some kumquats. Anyway, this is a, wait, 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 hold up a second. This, this is a kumquat. This is a kumquat. These are kumquats. These are the kumquats. These are kumquats. They look like tiny little oranges. I wonder if I can, can like get that in there. This is a kumquat. Focus, damn you. Focus. Yes, that is a kumquat. And they're so tiny looking. And they're so cute. And apparently, this is a lot of consuming. It's to remind me to drink water. I have water over here. I just haven't chosen to use it yet because I'm trying to prevent scurvy. Anyway, apparently you just eat these damn things whole. And kind of burst in your mouth. It's delicious. It tastes like a lemon on the inside and like a nectarine on the outside. And it's like, if you've ever squeezed the lemon, an orange peel and like expressed the, the orange oils, it smells like, it tastes like what that smells like. Like orange oil. It's awesome. I love it. Anyway, back to, back to yet another, yet another. That's right, yet another. Oh my God, that was another consumption. There are so many consumptions on this list. It's hard to creep. It's hard to keep up. Where'd my water bottle go? Gotcha. It's to help me get the the sourness out of my mouth. It's awesome. Excuse me. Anyway, the next cocktail ingredient that I need in here is three ounces of pineapple juice. I'm kind of running out of pineapple juice. However, this is the rest of my pineapple juice. It came from a can. I opened that can as a part of my experimentations last week and didn't wind up using any pineapple juice. So I put it in an auto container. It's dull, don't worry, not trying to fool you. It's the same shit as always. And that's a good thing. So let's add three ounces or about 90 milliliters. It's probably more like 89 milliliters of pineapple juice. And I'm gonna try not to spill um, cause this container is not good for pouring. So I'm gonna put a little, I'm trying to keep well around here. Consumption, my, my guy, my guy. If you can, if you abuse this power, we will limit it. I love pineapple juice. Pineapple juice tastes so good. Actually, wait, I forgot. I'm supposed to shake this first. I always forget to shake my pineapple juice. Three more to go. Three more to go. Oh, I got pineapple juice everywhere. Specifically when I was attempting not to. <laughs> That's funny. We do funny things around here. I need three ounces. 8.9 milliliters or something. Actually, I think it might be more like 88 milliliters. I don't exactly know off the top of my head. Work that body. Number five. Oh, I just noticed my bot's not working. It's not saying it. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, what is the thing? Oh, I don't know what that thing is. My chat bot didn't tell me what the exercise is for number five. Wow. Anna, can you look at my list and see what number five is? My we chat bot didn't say it. it a while ago. Yeah, what is it? Did I change it? Where is your thing? Oh, is it not there anymore? <laughs> I have no idea what exercise it is. My chat bot didn't seem to say that. I'll have to look at that afterwards. Well, let's say, Anna, give me, a, give me an exercise, a random one. Fire hydrants. Fire hydrants. I'm gonna do fire hydrants while I consume some more. Uh, Let's do it on a diagonal to the back. A diagonal to the yeah, back. Yeah, or else it does not. Or isolate else it doesn't me. isolate my body. I'm doing fire hydrants. I assure you, and I'm consuming pineapple juice. Here, whoosh, there. I don't know if there's space back here, babe. Lift up the leg and just do it as back much like as I that. can. There's a bunch of yoga blocks back you here. See this. I'm in pair, dear. I'm completely oh in pair. Oh my god, you can't do I this I can't properly. do it. I can't do it. I'm struggling, dearest. Help me, do please. You are not exercising at this I'm point. I'm not exercising. I'm trying to, but... Here, ready? I'm Bend trying to. Knee. Bend knee. Go back. Go back. Into diagonal. Into diagonal. Now bring it back in. Now bring it back. That's how you piss on a fire hydrant, according to a human. My god. It's like rapid fire shotgun and consume. It happens, you know? Things are breaking. Now bring, now bring it back. One hop this time. That was unsteady. You suck at this exercise thing. I love this spamming. Mm. Oh my god, are you serious? I'm squeezing lime juice in my mouth to prevent myself from getting scurvy. Three ounces, pineapple juice, quick, before somebody makes me drink something else. 
I have two ounces in the top part of the shaker. Boop! And then we flip it over for the one ounce part. And it looks like I have more pineapple juice to consume. Don't forget consume! It's just it's just the chatbot too. What is it? It's just the chatbot. Indeed, indeed. It should be. It should be the chatbot. The chatbot should be saying consume. That's by design. It should also be saying what exercise it is, but something might have broken in the background. But it is still working, which is good. Before someone makes me drink something else, right? What's that? Yes, there's a cool down! There has to be, or else I'll be consuming nonstop forever. I don't remember what the cooldown was, but apparently I didn't make it long enough. It's okay. Systems like this, consumption, systems like this have to be broken for us to realize that they're broken. Hmm. I don't think I put a limit on that either. Cause like, you would think, you would think that somebody isn't going to consume bomb you, but they did. And it's allowed because it was my mistake. See, it's okay. Like, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice or multiple times after, that's shame on me. That's shame on me. Now I have to click this button or I won't be able to know what the other ones are. It's like 45 seconds, probably a minute. So I have my half an ounce of dark rum or 15 milliliters, half an ounce of light rum, half an ounce of coconut rum, all 15 liters, a dash of lime juice and three ounces of pineapple juice. Now I'm gonna shake this up. I'm gonna shake it up and we'll see what winds up happening when I do so. I hope nobody makes me consume or anything like that. That'd be a little crazy. There's a lot of things going into my mouth. Wow! Look at that! Somebody made me consume again! I'm just gonna like bite a line in this case. There we go. I actually bit into a line this time. I feel like it is more worth it that way. Alright. That was awesome. Okay. I shook it up. Where's your fix yourself? I don't know, is fix yourself not there? Fix yourself should be there. What's going on with Twitch today? Fix yourself, I see it. You liar, it's there, it's there. You fixed it. Oh, did you say fix yourself? Did I miss that? Mm -hmm. Oh look, there it is. Oh, I forgot to fix myself. Now my headphones are on backwards. Aha, uh -huh. alley-oop. Oh. I must fix myself one more time by putting my headphones back straight. Because we pride ourselves on correctness around here. We must. We must. We must. Okie dokie, artichoke! Consumption! I'm gonna take a little sip of this, actually. No, it's not done yet. Actually, it's not done yet. The cocktail is not done yet. Mm. Exercise would be good. Probably. I love how the bot isn't working, though. I'm so sad about that. I want, I'll fix it afterwards. I'll wind up testing and whatnot. So let's just say it's broken right now. Or it isn't. I'll just get random exercises. I'll have to take Anna's word for it. This is what I gotta do. This is what I gotta do. Okay. I have my cocktail and my shaker. Now the next thing I need to do is put it in a glass. What's the extreme consumption today? I don't know. Whatever's in the fridge, it's probably gonna be some sort of condiment. We have condiments. I would have to go over there and get it though. But alas, if you spend the points, that's, that's what I gotta do. I set this thing up. The only person who made a mistake here, the only person who did anything wrong here is myself because I was the one who didn't think things through. But you know, in our attempts to be better people and constantly improve upon the people that we were in previous days, we have to consider failing sometimes. I don't got the points for the extreme consumption though. Ha ha, that somebody does. I'm gonna put some ice in my, my cocktail glass before I can do so. Actually, I'll set up the cocktail angle. That's what I'll do. Uh, Cause we're gonna start building up the cocktail. So let's do that. Let's do that. I mean, failure isn't a bad thing. No, 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 failure is a good thing. Because without failure, how am I to improve? How am I supposed to get better if I don't fail today? I got my little, my most futuristically technological looking glass that I have. Here we go. Let's do the, oh, excuse me. Let's do the close up. Trying to get there. Oy, 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 oy. Giving up is, yeah, giving up's a bad thing. Don't give up. Don't give up. You got it. I'm gonna pour the cocktail in here. Uh, actually, first I'm gonna add ice. The instructions say to fill up the glass with ice. I have ice. I'm gonna put it in a glass. 
ice in my glass like ice in my glass. Oh, Jake, you're going to be very happy to know that I picked up a circular ice cube maker, an ice sphere maker at Target today. Not using it today because I just bought it. There literally wouldn't have been enough time to utilize the circular cubes. Circular cubes. But I did it. I did it. And it was only $12. I did it. It's going to be great. It's going to look probably okay. I don't know, dog. Not exactly sure. I have ice in my glass. It also called for it to be chilled. It was in a freezer with the ice. Therefore, I'd say it was adequately chilled. Now, I need to strain into that chilled glass, which also has ice into it, and then do something else with it. But we'll see. Let's strain. <laughs> Let's struggle and strain ourselves today. Nah, just kidding. It's not too bad. Ah! Oh, consumption! Woo! I am so filled with num nums today. A quote read recently is the pain we feel today will give us the strength to walk tomorrow. It's like what doesn't kill you makes you stronger or something like that. All right, pouring my stuff into here. Pouring my stuff into here. Actually, actually, hold on, hold on. Before I do that, before I do that, consumption again? Did I do it again? Oh, oh no, that was the one. I did that. I'm gonna start with the garnish actually. I need to start with the garnish. I also need to remember to be on this side of the camera or else my face is in chat over here. I want to be over here. There should be a sign that says chat. Look, this is the box for my face right over here. I don't have that yet. So actually what I wanted to do is I forgot my garnish and it's all about the garnish, baby. It's all about the garnish game. I'm trying to do our garnish game. So I'm going to pour that back in here because I, so I have a little space for things. I'm going to do it. Eat the chat like a shark. <laughs> I'm eating all the words. There's probably some really cool, like, programmy stuff that I could do to actually, like, eat chat or, like, click a button, like, chat just, like, disappears or dissolves as I consume it. It'd be so cool. Maybe consumption should be consume chat. That'd be great. All right, so I need to start garnishing my cocktail. The cocktail is called artificial intelligence, so I thought the only proper thing to do is to actually put some electronics into it. They've been properly sanitized. I am not going to eat the circuit boards. They're clean. I promise. I promise. I'm trying to do a little, I'm trying to, I'm just going to try to do like a little like floral display here. So I have, I have some Ram sticks. They all have one gigabyte each. I got four gigs of Ram here. That's not good. I tested it. It's not very good. I'm digging the music. How's the music feeling? Oh yeah. It's got like an underwater feel to it. I feel like I'm under the water. It's chill. It's crazy. It's awesome. So I have four gigs of, don't forget to add to your artificial intelligence, four gigs of RAM that don't work. I already tested these, they do not work, but they are thoroughly sanitized. I'm gonna try to put that, yeah, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try to put that as a means to like, attempt to make it look like palm leaves. I'm trying to do like a palmy, like tropical type thing with this. QPC, what's going on my friend? How are you? How are you? I got RAM in ice. Because, because I'm not eating it, they don't work. I must preface that, I must preface that. I'm not doing some silly, stupid thing. I put my straw in there, prepare myself. You know, the ram sticks actually aren't like settling the way that I wanted them to. Ah, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. What's going on, what's going on? All right, it's kind of like, it kind of looks like palm leaves. I dig that, I dig that. Now, now I'll add in the rest of it. Now, uh, now I'll actually pour in that stuff. I'll pour it in good. I'll pour it in good. Let's pour in the part of our artificial intelligence that does mix with the electronics. And I'm gonna try not to get it all over the place. Oh, I'm dripping a little bit. I'm dripping a little bit. Here we go. Oh, I'm dripping a lot of it. All right, I'm gonna go to the other side. Oh, you team consumption. Chat box with an X? Oh, it's chat box two. Chat box double with an X? First time chat. I think something happened. I think something changed. Hmm. That's new. I'm very confused. Aaron is confusion. I would be confused, but it says consumption, so I'm gonna consume. That's super wacky. Chatbot, has, chatbot with an X has a double T now. That's weird. Did I break it? I don't think I did. I'm gonna bite into this lime. Other side. And now it's back to normal. Dude. What was up with that? That was super weird. <laughs> I'm so unfamiliar with this. I'll use water this time. I'm very confused now. I have no idea how that happened. Look, it's totally right now. Dude. 
The artificial intelligence is breaking the mainframe. We've hacked in, boys, girls, and those in between. We've hacked the mainframe. We're going to take over Twitch one cocktail at a time. Oh my goodness, that is incredible. Okay, all right, let's continue with this. This is the first half of the cocktail. First half of the cocktail. This is getting confusing for me. I'm very confused. The next thing that we do is to complete artificial intelligence, we have to provide it data to train upon. So that data to train upon is gonna be another ingredients. It'll be Midori. You actually float a little bit of green stuff on top of it. It's gonna be awesome. I guess, I think the intent of this was to have like the green of the circuit board on top with like the yellow of the traces on the bottom. I, I guess that makes sense to me. So I'm gonna try to float this as best as I possibly can. I have no idea if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna come out from a different angle over here and see if that works. I have no idea if this is gonna work. I'm just following the instructions, dude. Try it, try to float, try to float some Midori. I don't think this will work, but we're gonna try. It's, it's completely going to the bottom. There's no way to float Midori here. I don't know what you wanted me to do. It said float Midori, but the Midori ain't floating, my guy. I'm trying to wonder. Well, <laughs> apparently the cocktail recipe was wrong. I was not able to float Midori on top of it. There was no way of making that happen. It's actually, the yellow is on top, the green is on the bottom because the Midori is a liqueur and the heavy, the, the light rums with alcohol are all up on top. It's just physics. The artificial intelligence didn't realize that because it's not very smart, now is it? But my, that has a really awesome, like, gradient to it. And it's gonna get even better. So, naturally, if you're gonna have artificial intelligence, AKA a supercomputer, what you're gonna have to do is build it up just like any rig. If you really want your friends to be jealous of your computer setup, you're gonna have to make it look so sickly awesome and functional. Functional, don't forget functionality, that they'll be like, wow, I wish I had your setup. What computer slash setup is, is, is complete without some USB ports? So I have USB ports or rather a USB cable. We're gonna do a little corkscrew this time around. I'm gonna give it a little twist. I'm gonna give my cable just a little twist. Gonna give it some bounce. It's not gonna stay that way. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna snake that in there, trying to work with the space that we have. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Got a little bit of a got a little bit of a twist there. Ooh, okay, you're being a little being a little difficult. Let's put that around the straw. There we go. Okay, okay, we're trying. The ram sticks kind of fell a little bit, but uh we'll try to we'll try to bring them back out. Oh no, my USB cord. Oh dear. Hmm. I didn't test this beforehand naturally. This is just something we're doing for funsies. And everything was clean. I, I want to make it very clear that everything was sanitized beforehand. They've been sitting in isopropyl alcohol for the past couple of hours, naturally. Yes, but like some people are going to be like, yo, you put, you put dirty metals in your drink? You're going to die or something. And I'll be like, no, bro, bro, calm down, calm down, calm down. We do things safely around here. Well, it's not really, it's not really working. This is going to be one hell of a, <laughs> this could be one hell of a thumbnail. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. And of course, you know, if you have a if you have a PC that's working really well, you're gonna need a fan. So um, I'm just gonna put a fan in front of it. I'm gonna put a fan on the side of it. There we go. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Of course, if you're gonna make a really really awesome rig that your friends are gonna be jealous of, you're gonna have to put some LEDs in it. I don't have LEDs. Instead, I have glow sticks. Glow sticks. Yeah. It's 2022. Don't worry about the contents of the drink. Oh, I don't like the sound of that, sir. I don't like that at all. I got a couple of glow sticks here. I bought them at the store just a little bit ago. I plan, I plan, I plan for these things. I'm well prepared this time. You gotta have LEDs in your setup. Look at that. It's so sparkly. Oh, actually I wasn't expecting like them to come out of the top. It actually kind of looks like an alien now. Someone make you a drink, you drink it. I suppose that's, that's a point. That's a mentality. If somebody makes me a drink and I don't like it, I will not finish it. Is that working? And what are you doing? What are you, what are you, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Oh, you're gonna bend it. Okay, good idea, good idea. Let's bend it, let's bend it. What the shit do you have on top? What, I, what do I have on top? Ram sticks. It's so the computer has memory. Okay, glow sticks in the drink, pretty cool. Not gonna lie, we got some good ideas. It's supposed to make it look like really awesome. I have another glow stick here. Oh, it tastes bad. And I'm gonna try to put on the inside. I'm gonna try this. We're trying, we're trying. I am a novice. I am not doing this professionally. If somebody came to my bar and was like, I want the ram stick drink, I'm gonna be like, ram stick it out the door. No, <laughs> I'm not serving you this. Let's try to see if I can get like one of them down a little bit farther. 
I'm gonna try that. Let me use my try to. There we go. You know what? It ain't too bad. It ain't too bad. Actually, I wanna try this. Let's see how this looks in the dark. If I turn off the lights. How's that looking? It looks like a drink. Ooh! <laughs> Things getting a little bit spooky. What if I put a little bit of like a little bit of light on it? Like from the bottom? Yo! All right, but like you can't see the ram sticks. So maybe if I just like hmm. The drink is a mess. Yeah, you know what? But you know what? Some of the best people in this world are messes <laughs> Some of the best creations in this world are absolutely messful. But you know what? It's a drink of the times <laughs> Dude, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. I'm a loser. I don't trust no one. No action. I'm a mess for your love, it ain't new. Anyway, we've completely garnished our drink. But of course, now that we've completely tricked out our rig, we need to make sure that it's functional. So, obviously, can't play any games. Can't browse your web browsers. Without a mouse. You gotta attach a mouse to it. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can see my entire setup. This is my entire setup. I'm not using a GPU. Um, I'm actually using the power of thought itself. Let's plug it in. I swear. If that nope, works. that's the wrong side. Excuse me. I have to flip it around. Boop. All right. I now present to everybody. I'm gonna call it the RTX DRK. The DRK stands for drink. But the N got left over because it's a PMOS actual. It's PMOS technology, not NMOS. Why would we call it DRNK if it uses PMOS technology? Actually, it probably uses CMOS, so we could, could call it DRCK. But that's Dirk. Dirk. I don't know. Your tongue is the power cord. <laughs> I wish I had something to drink today. I gotta hit the store. My tongue is the power cord. Let's see if I can turn on the creation. I'm gonna move the, the straw back here so I can actually take a drink of it. Presenting. Artificial intelligence at its finest. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the future. And it tastes like... Ooh. So I'm crazy. Okay, so first thing that I get from this is the coconut rum and the dark rum. I can taste those almost immediately. And I'm trying to like, so actually the first thing that I taste is the pineapple juice combined with the Midori. It's tangy a little bit. It's a little tangy and it's sweet. The Midori is really coming through. They're making it taste almost like cotton candy like. But the next thing I get is the coconut rum, the Malibu. That is a very recognizable flavor. And then the Myers dark rum, which kind of has like a molasses like caramel thing. Will Anna try it? Anna, will you try it? Would you like to try it? I'm not dressed for this. She's not dressed for this. She will, she will pass on this one You're in particular. Right. Oh, she's going to try it anyway. I don't know if I can hand this to you, to be honest. I don't know. I I, I fear for my creation. Oh, come here. Around. Here comes Anna. Here comes Anna. She's putting on a... Whoa, it's Anna. Hi there. Hey, what's up? Can I try it? She can drink on stream. She wants to come on. Hey, what's up? What does it taste like? Does it taste like the next generation of technology? Does it taste like everything that technology promised us? Is Does it taste like the singularity? Tastes like watered-down rum. Tastes like watered Except down rum. Except it's sweeter. But it's sweet watered down rum. That means I think yeah. we're doing something right. I think we're doing something okay. Oh, I'm cool with it. it has a burn now. It's oh, got a that's burn now. Nice. That's probably because of the alcohol. <laughs> That'll do that. Oh, I like this jacket. I'm gonna wear it now. Anna's gonna wear my jacket, and I'm totally okay with that. That was, that was, that is, that is artificial intelligence. That's that's it. That's sad. That's it. Please take that. I don't think it was what I had anticipated it to be. Consumption. All right. It's not bad. The ram stick. No, I'm not gonna eat the ram. I'm not putting the ram in my mouth. <laughs> I will not be ramming that in my mouth tonight. <laughs> Get it? Cause ram raid only me or random access memory. Read only would be rom. <laughs> What's the difference between ram and rom? Rapid, uh, rapid assessment movement. No, silly. I can't ram into your face. I censored myself. That's inappropriate. Rapid assessment. My mother's calling me. On stream? Hi, Mom. What's up? That's cool. That's really cool. I'll see you all on Friday. I'm in the middle of a stream right now. The folks say hello. Posture check. Posture check. Mother says hello. 
She appreciates you all. I will talk to you later. My mother says keep watching Cameron. He's cool, but she's biased. <laughs> groovy. Yeah, groovy, groovy Cameron. cocktails. Oh, it's a groovy one. It's a groovy one, baby. All right, I'll call you. I'll talk to you. Indeed, indeed. Peace out, Ma. I love you. See ya, Mom. You know what we do for Mom's on stream? She's not on stream. She's not on stream. You're right. Oh my god, that was a false alarm. My goodness. Yo, look at that party parrot dancing over there. Look at that party parrot. Oh, I love it. I got an animated emote from Twitch and I knew exactly what to put there. Very, very happy with it. It's great. She was, though. She was. Pretty groovy. All right. Oh, I almost actually put my mouth on the ram stick. No, no. No, no, no. I will be removing these garnishes after I take a picture of it, I guess. This was fun. This is interesting. I didn't know what it was going to be. I tried my bestest. I unplugged my mouse because, as we know, you shouldn't have, uh, you know, don't, don't plug in your electronics around water. Toaster plus water, bad idea. Hair dryer plus water, bad idea. Water plus computer in pieces so long as you dry it. It's okay. But, like, water plus actively running computer is probably not a very good thing. Love you, homie, but you got some stuff to do. I respect that. The hustle never stops. The grind never stops. But what about, what about, what about, what about water pump plus water? Water pump plus water makes sense. That is that is a proper use of electronic plus water. I actually have a water pump around here somewhere. I do not know where though, but maybe I'll use it. Maybe we'll make like, you know, I just had an idea here. Bear with me for a moment. What if, we garnish a cocktail with a water pump, but the cocktail is actually stored in a fountain. Like one of those like really cool fountains where like it looks like it's a mountain. And then like you flick a switch and instead of like the waterfall, it actually like squirts into your mouth, like from a distance. Cocktail fountain, cocktail fountain. Seems seems fitting. I can, I can see that. I can totally see that. I get that. Like one of the reasons I even made this drink to begin with, one because of the name. I, it, I'm, a I'm a tech kind of guy. It's it's cool. I, I think it's really awesome. But also because of the AI games that are out there. AI dungeon things, pixel this, and medieval problems. I haven't played them on stream. I kind of want to. I played them offline. They're fun. You should check it out. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm very much a fan of that. We created the artificial intelligence today. I do a lot with electrical stuff, yes? Yes. Yeah, I do. I do do a lot of electrical stuff. Haha. -ha. I said do do. That's a funny thing. The buzz buzz level stuff. I do like, I work with electronics. I work with consumer level electronics, like small things. I don't work with the big stuff, not the stuff that's really, really buzzing. But technically if you put your ear up to like your phone charger, the switching technology in there, the switching MOSFETs and stuff, like that's got a buzzing sound that I can hear. I don't know if everybody else can, but I do the buzzy buzz stuff. I work with electricity and shock myself on the daily. I am constantly coming in and out of work like having to discharge my static electricity on like the refrigerator or a charger or the conveniently placed grounding strip that is right next to my desk because there's always circuit boards laying on it. It's fun. It's fun, fun, fun. But I did this because of AI games. I played it over the weekend. It's a good, it's a good thing. So I could like make a cocktail fountain. There's nothing stopping me aside from the materials and the time to do it. The world is my oyster. And in this case, the oyster was generated by machine learning and the AI and the metaverse. So I can program that oyster to look like a fountain or a clam or this monstrosity. I made artificial intelligence today using a half an ounce of light rum. I used Bacardi, 15 milliliters. A half an ounce or 15 milliliters of dark rum. I used Myers. A half an ounce of coconut rum, 15 milliliters, I used Malibu. Three ounces of pineapple juice, Dole brand pineapple. A dash of lime juice, fresh. Shake that up in your shaker, pour it into a chilled glass filled with ice, and top it, attempt to float Midori on top of it, aka melon liqueur. It didn't really work for me, and garnish it however you like. If you're gonna use electronics, I would recommend cleaning them. Um, and if you're gonna use glow sticks, Dude, more power to you. That was a great idea. I'm a big fan of that. It was fun, everybody. I very much appreciate it. This was... This was a journey. This is not something we usually do. Unless the drink is aptly named another time, I don't think we'll be seeing the ram sticks on camera again. Maybe. We'll see.
We'll see. In any case, I appreciate it all. It was very, very fun. Until the next cocktail, next Wednesday, it'll be fun. I don't know what it'll be, but it'll be great. And it'll be drinky. It'll be, it'll be definitely be edible. Next time will be a completely edible drink, aside from the glass that it sits in. That makes sense. That makes total sense. So until next time, thank you everybody for joining me on Cocktail Time. Time to go to the other side to play some Hollow Knight. But until then, bye everybody. Peace out to you. Bye y'all. Oh my God, I thought there was a split second where I panicked. I was like, are you gonna do like one last like final move on me? Boom, what is this? What is this? What's this? What's this? Oh, 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 no, 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 I'm not prepared. Oh my God. Oh my god, I don't like this! What can I, what can I do to defend myself? 